Hello, this is Roger Schultz, and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In this session, we're going to learn how to configure the R2 to stream NMEA data. For hardware, we will be using a Windows mobile device, version 6.5, and a Trimble R2 receiver. With software, we will be using Trimble GNSS Status Utility. This will be used to configure the R2 NMEA output and ArcPad 10.2. If you do not have Trimble GNSS Status Utility, it is available on Trimble's website. Here listed are the basic steps for procedure. Uh, this is just a list that would be good for you to screenshot or take a look at and save for your own records. Uh, I know there's a lot on this screen, but it could be useful for you down the road. We will be using these steps and following these steps as we go through the process of setting up the NMEA stream and allowing it to can be configured and work using ArcPad 10.2. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to navigate to the Bluetooth and begin a partnership with the R2 receiver. I'm going to do this by clicking on the start bar, settings, and then Bluetooth. I'm going to add a new device and wait for my device to appear. When it does, I will select the R2 and then hit next. The passcode for the R2 is four zeros or zero, 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 zero. Then hit next. Once the partnership has been uh, established, we then want to go to our advanced settings. Make sure that a serial port is not checked and hit save. We then need to navigate to the COM ports. So now I'm going to create a new COM port, hit next, and make sure that the secure settings are not checked, and hit finish. The next thing I need to do is to go to the GNSS status app. I can do this by clicking back on the Windows key twice and then bringing up the GNSS status application utility. I now need to select a new receiver by clicking select new receiver on the bottom and selecting the R2. I then need to click in the upper left on the three bars and then NMEA settings. Once I've applied the NMEA settings that I want to stream to my or from my receiver I then uh, hit apply and click on the SPP1 port and apply the settings to the receiver. At this point we want to reset the R2 by holding down the power button until it powers off and then restart it back up by pushing the power button and allowing it to re-fire up. From there I will need to navigate to task manager and select GNSS status app and then end task. We then will open up ArcPad 10.2. Once ArcPad is up we will create a new map and then go to our GPS preferences. Within GPS preferences we want to have our NMEA settings as our protocol port 5 or COM5 selected as I set up earlier with a 9600 baud rate. We then can turn on the receiver and it may appear that we have no fix in the beginning but upon the establishment of satellites we then will get a fix. We then can click on that green bar and go over to the debug and within debug we can see our NMEA strings streaming in giving us our data an accurate position. This concludes our video on how to configure an R2 to stream NMEA data. We hope you have found this video useful and helpful and will join us again next time. Thank you.